So, uh, hello and welcome to another episode on my channel. Today we are going to talk about this induction heater that I'm currently building. And yeah, I will start by quickly explaining the, the parts for everyone who has never seen one of those. The basic principle is he uh, to heat up a workpiece, and this uh, in this case a piece of uh, old uh, car spring uh, that's already been abused in a forge for some time. Uh, up uh, by a magnetic field. Um, the magnetic field comes out of this resonance circuit. You've probably heard about all of this before. It's driven by this transformer that's uh, fed by an inverter. This is an H bridge inverter that can be fed by mains power. The gate signal comes over the gate drive transformer here, feeds into the protection circuit for each IGBT. See the protection circuit on there. Uh, the whole PCB is a low inductance design and the IGBTs themselves sit underneath the P uh, PCB on a uh, water cooling block made of aluminium. Also we have a protractifier here that feeds the h bridge circuit and in turn again it is uh, yeah, connected to this uh, filter and fed by an auto transformer. So this transformer is rated for I think 2 Kilovolt ampere, yes. Um, and while operating, we will also measure the power of the unit with this uh, power unit uh, meter here. It shows the voltage in the top left, the current out of the grid uh, on the top right, of course, left uh, lower left is power, and then the power factor on the lower right. Um, we have uh, three power supplies, a small auxiliary power supply for the driver board, the driver board consists of a TL494 PWM generator, which generates two signals, one inverted and one non-inverted PWM signal, including that time. Those are fed into this uh, UCC uh, gate driver circuit, which then drives the GDT. And yeah, the whole uh, thing is cooled uh, with this little 12 volt water pump out of a well, rather large reservoir. And the water flows in first into the uh, water cooling block to cool the IGBTs because those are the most expensive components here. And it then continues uh, through the yeah, copper tube assembly, the work coil, and in the end then goes back out and into the tank. So um, the, the driving circuit is already running and it's drawing about one watt. It's not really, this is, does not need power. Um, on the top here we have a small lab power supply that is used to power the pump because um, I didn't have any other power supply laying around. So when we power it on you can see there's water flowing down there. The coil is cooled. Okay, you can't uh, obviously yeah, see or feel that. But um, the workpiece is held in the bench with some ceramic wool. That is, uh, yeah, just necessary so my bench doesn't uh, let on fire uh, when the PC is up. <sighs> okay, so next thing, um, I'm going to plug in the auto transformer. The measurement of the bridge voltage uh, is here. You can see it on that uh, device. It's a DC voltmeter basically. And if I plug this in now. And my fuse doesn't pop, which is doesn't great. I can slowly crank up the cap voltage here. As you can see, power draw increases. Um, at this point, the piece will start to heat up. And I will maybe position it you know, centralized in the coil. So, yeah, like this, probably. Coil isn't symmetrical, uh, too much. Um, also, there is an oscilloscope here, and what this does, it displays the signal on the TL494, which is the rectangular waveform, as well as the um, capacitor voltage of the resonant capacitor, which is the sine wave here. And now I can, this is not an auto-tuned induction heater, it's a manually tuned one, so I can take the screwdriver and vary the frequency here. So if the frequency is very high, we are below uh, above resonance and below of course same. So if we tune here, 
we get a maximum voltage. That should now run on resonance. And I will, I should be able to see both measurements here now increase. Right, and you hear it clicking already. I will take the light here. Just started cracking. Oh, and now you can see it. Oh my god. Camera shows about the same as you can see with the human eye. It's not much of infrared picked up by it. But yes. And I have to stop it again because here the, the measurement clip of the uh, of the cap voltage starts yeah, also becoming hot because it is in the magnetic field of the conductor here. You can see it smoking. I will turn it off before it melts through and I will be right back. So, uh, you can see here, just try to point with the camera and with the thermometer at the same time. The uh, IGBT temperature didn't go much about, yeah, 38 is what it shows as maximum, but I don't know if I pointed it correctly. So, yeah, let's say it's not going above 40 for sure. Um, okay, the workpiece has cooled down, but it was above 700 degrees just now. And if I now find a way to uh, improve the measurement of the of the cap voltage and oh I just can I can just theoretically can take it off but I can see the resonance then. You can see that this easily like with two kilowatt you can easily heat up like a coil spring and I mean the diameter of the coil spring is probably around two centimeters or so let's check it out. Yeah, it should be fine and we can measure yeah two centimeters not bad quite quick heating um, without uh, without feedback circuit, so just manually controlled without any readjustment. Okay, I think I can also turn off the water cooling now. You can easily touch the coil, even with like uh, it, 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 it. The coil will get warm now because the radiation of the, the heat radiation of the workpiece. Uh, maybe I can just keep it on. <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> yes, and you no. Know, so this is uh, the first. They are prototype, functional prototype of the induction heater. Look forward for more. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to don't miss any further updates in the future. And I will definitely improve upon this unit to add uh, automatic feedback, maybe one of those common PLL circuits found on the internet. And then let's see if we may be able to, I mean, I haven't uh, run this for long now, but maybe I can melt uh, this coil spring, let's see. Uh, like right, uh, pure mathematically it should be possible with the power so yeah look forward to it see you next time bye <laughs>